to me like you're having a particularly good time this year on American Idol. <laughs> does it look that way? It does look that I way. I am. Uh, by the way, I had a good time last year. We're having a good time this year. We're obviously a little more relaxed. It's our second season. We know more what to expect as far as Steven and I go. So we're having a good time. What do you think the biggest challenge for the show is this year? Um, I don't know. I don't think of it that way. I just think we just need to do what we did last year and have a good time and, and you know, find the great talent and put it in front of America and put them in front of America and then... Um, just, you know, let the games begin. Because part of the thing, you know, it is your second season. Obviously, there's a learning curve yeah. to doing this gig. It's like nothing you've ever done before. You're True. a judge on a television show. Right. So there's a learning curve. So I imagine, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, there were some things you may have done last season, maybe something you consider a mistake or something you saw that you would say, eh, you know what, I'm not going to do that again this year. Something that you learned from the experience? I was, you know, I, I hear what you're saying. And as far as learning curve, I would say... It was about just getting more comfortable with the whole thing. Do you know what I mean? Because it was the first time, and it was my first time doing kind of live television like that week after week. So that was something that I needed to kind of get used to. And actually, it was really exhausting, to be quite honest. I remember every Friday after Wednesday and Thursday, I'd be like, why am I so tired? And it was just that pressure and that kind of, you know, live experience, and there's a lot of adrenaline and everything. And so by Friday, you're just kind of whipped. But... Other than that, I, I'm pretty happy with the way the season went last year, and I don't, you know, plan to change anything. I'm going to let, you know, I'm just going to take the ride, you know, and laugh and cry and do whatever I need to do, you know, just experience it. I think that's what it's about, just taking the ride, taking the journey. That's what America's, you know, kind of goes in for, to find that American Idol. Well, you mentioned crying, and, and, and part yeah. of the emotion can certainly come from having to make some of the tough decisions Absolutely. that you guys have to make. So going into the season, are you a little more mentally prepared? Can you ever be a little more mentally sure. prepared for having to shut down people that you know are really talented? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I we are. I, I know I am. I'm more mentally prepared for what it is this time. Um, but you know, i got to tell you, the same way last year's Green Mile was very emotional for me, I felt the same way this year. It's, it's a lot to hold in. You know, when you're really at that point where they're going to be on the show or not be on the show, go in front of America, not go in front of America, those kids are wound tight and they feel like their whole life is right. And you feel all that emotion. You know, if you're a sensitive person, forget it and one after we do one by one it's not like a big cattle thing where we're like okay you're going home you're going home it's a little bit more distant right. at that point we sit them in front of us we talk to each one individually you know we talk about their their journey and it's it's a tough day it's tough i can't it's even a imagine tough it day. you know obviously it made big news when jim carrey's daughter jane got on the show right and she's out there in front of you guys and i'm thinking because i i was watching at the time and i'm thinking gosh i hope she's good I hope yeah. she can sing because it might be a little bit awkward if they have to send her packing. And obviously, there are going to be people who will say, and yeah. it's clear she can sing, but yeah. who will say, well, she's getting special treatment, it's good for the show that's or ridiculous. whatever. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, what, what would you say to tell everybody, no, that's not going to no, happen? No, we don't. We, by the way, she should have the same opportunities anybody has, doesn't matter who her dad is. You know, to, to X her out because her dad is who he is would be unfair as well, to not give her the opportunity. She's saying... Well, and we put her through to the next round, period. That's how it goes. That if she been. wasn't, we would have had to very sadly tell her no. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And say hi to your dad for me.